Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is Radhika here again and this video is going to be about um, out of body experiences and um, what they are. Uh, and sometimes I talk about things like 5D, 5 dimension, you know, like the fifth dimension. Um, and um, so yeah, this video is kind of about all that stuff and also uh, i have a client who's uh, you know we've been corresponding since last year i i think i don't remember correctly and she recently shared with me an experience that she had so i asked her permission if you know i can share it with you guys and you know if any of you have had such an experience then um, maybe you guys can share it in the comments too uh, but yeah, I asked her if I can share it and she said sure like with my first name you can share my experience So I'm pretty sure what she had was an out-of-body experience and um, These experiences are little uh, They're a bit esoteric, you know, like uh, it's hard to Know if you've had it or if you are imagining it But they are quite different. So the things that you imagine and the and out of body experiences or sometimes when you really enter the 5d it'll feel very different even though there is a similarity to it and um so it's 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 really a hard topic to explain because it is something that has to be experienced you know like it's like you can watch thousands of romantic movies on love and things like that um and you feel like okay so this is what love is this that but then once you actually grow up and you fall in love for the first time uh, you will actually feel the depth of what love was and what those movies were talking about so it's only after you have experienced something that you actually get a real taste of it um, so yeah out of body experiences are something like that and uh, for people who who want to experience uh, you know something beyond just this three-dimensional life of having this body and this uh, person whom you know you might call your name whom i call radhika you know uh, it's a it's a great way to kind of expand your thinking and expand your experience because suddenly you realize i'm not just this you know this is just a temporary form that i have taken and actually my reach and my capacity is really beyond just this body just this mind just what i do on this in this life you know so it's a it's a very uh, it's it's like a fast track way of healing in a way you know if something like this happens to you you will just it will just accelerate the pace at which you are healing and it will just make your perspective sh completely shift you know you will start seeing life in a completely different way uh, and that's why you if you like look at youtube there are so many channels which are teaching you how to experience an out of body experience because it's something you can actually induce it doesn't always have to happen randomly you can also practice it and you can induce it you know because uh, that's how the universe works anything that you put your mind to and you think about it a lot it will happen in your reality in one form or the other and uh, that's the law of attraction and there are so many youtube channels teaching that as well because you know people want to experiment more uh, than just what is taught in textbooks now you know they want to actually have a lot more experiences and you know like uh in a way we are going back uh to to the age where they were sages and they were doing magic and they were you know teaching uh their students that you know this world is much more than what you think and then suddenly you know this uh uh industrial age happened and science happened and because of wars and everything everyone was totally into using their brain for everything and they got into this mode of always knowledge and studying and that to knowledge only to gain material things um, 
so yeah so i feel like we are actually going back to where we came from and uh, science is reaching there too because now there is like a quantum of uh, physics and things like that which are actually uh, reaching where spirituality is already there and now they are finding out more ways to kind of prove things so that more people buy into the stuff or you know they they actually believe in this stuff um so yeah so i'm just going to share some of my out of body experiences that i have had uh, so i've had a few the first one i had was when i was like uh, maybe 11 12 years old and i it was uh, an afternoon time and i was sleeping uh, in you know like uh, with my mom uh, in the afternoon and I kind of left my body and I saw myself sleeping behind my mom but when I left my body in the like an astral projection I actually thought someone is sleeping behind me because I did not know that was me and when I saw someone sleeping behind me I suddenly woke up from the dream and I looked behind and there was no one and I was totally confused like I, I, I didn't understand what happened because I thought I saw someone behind me and then I realized later on and that dream is so vivid in my mind even now and that was like 15 years 16 years ago um, or more than that I think 20 years ago uh, but I still remember it because it was the first time that I actually uh, did astral projection and I was aware of it because we all we do astral projection every night when we when we sleep we are actually doing astral projection but we completely go into a state of hypnosis so we don't remember where we go when we sleep and you know the movie um what was that movie's name um the leonardo dicaprio movie inception is completely based on that idea that there is which world is the real world you know is this 3d reality real or is the dream world real or are all of these different states of maya you know what um is called maya in buddhism or in hinduism it's called leela you know it's like different different realms of reality um so yeah so basically we all do astral projection every night we are just kind of unaware of it um then the next experience i had was when i was dreaming um but it was astral projection actually it was like an out of body experience and i saw a friend of mine and i saw her son and they were playing in her living room something that looked like a living room and i was kind of on the ceiling of that room but i wasn't present you know like it was not like i was floating there it was like i was present there but i was consciousness so i was formless i was shapeless i did not have eyes but i could see i did not have any other organ or a body or anything like that but my senses my it's not even senses it's like a sense of sense you know like uh, you can hear but you don't have ears you can see but you don't have eyes you can smell but you don't have a nose it's like when you go in a dream you actually experience the whole dream but you don't have a nose you don't have eyes you don't have anything in the dream but you when you wake up you still know that you dreamt something and you sometimes even remember your dream so how does that happen that's because you know you go in a form where you are pure consciousness but you still have a sense of ego there so it's not like uh it's not like enlightenment in which you are you become consciousness you know you 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 are pure consciousness and uh, you're one with consciousness so it's not like that it's a different sort of consciousness it's more like unit consciousness so you are still conscious but you are still a unit you know you are not you are not all by that time but people who are enlightened i feel like i don't know how it is exactly but i feel like they are merged with all of consciousness at that point um so yeah that was my second experience when i actually saw them and i was in that room but i was not there <laughs> you know it's it's very weird um and then my third experience was kind of when 
my third experience is actually very much like uh, the the client's experience that I'll be talking about. Uh, so my third experience was when I was actually giving birth to my son and uh, I, I had like extremely high blood pressure because uh, something was happening in my body. You know, it was like a, a very difficult time and I could not breathe and they were trying to like find my son inside my uh, belly you know like where is he and he was moving around everywhere and it was a very very difficult time and I thought I cannot I could not breathe so you know like for some time they put the oxygen mask on me and for some time I actually blanked out uh, and I saw the room where I was and then I was back in my body. So, you know, it's um, sometimes like uh, it's a very different experience because I did not see myself leaving my body per se. I also did not see myself come back in my body, but I definitely. So it's like I went into a sleep, but then I was there. And then like I was looking at myself and the room from my hospital room and then suddenly like I woke uh, I opened my eyes and I was back you know it's a uh, it's a little uh, weird so it's not like a slow motion where I see myself leaving and then I see myself coming back it's like snap and then again snap you know but there is that definite loss of time in between when you leave your body and when you're back in your body because for that period of time you are not in this body <laughs> you know what i'm saying so for that period of time i was not radhika i was outside of my body something i was something but i could see myself i could see my husband like panicking i could see the nurse there trying to do something and i could see myself too so <laughs> it was a very weird experience uh, and that's what kind of like um, uh, the client has experienced uh, who you know who kind of sent me the email uh, so I'll just quickly read her email and I'll let you know like what she experienced um, yeah so her name is uh, Nena by the way uh, so yeah, Nena says that uh, I was taking physiotherapy, uh, the massage was very painful and uh, she was like applying a cold and a hot fermentation at the same time. Uh, so cold was painful and hot was soothing. So what she says is she started watching it and at the same time she started thinking how we avoid pain and how we want pleasure. and that's when she understood what the ego is you know what is the ego and so she at that point she said in her mind that pain and pleasure are in my body and i'm not the body and then she says suddenly i felt detached and i could see myself at the same time and then she writes the next thing that happened was the nurse tapped me on my shoulder and i was asleep and she was telling me that wake up so that's very similar to what I experienced when I was like delivering my son or getting prepped to deliver my son. Um, so I just like, I mean, I immediately kind of bonded with her experience and um, I, I asked her like, can I share it? Because I think what happened is once she kind of detached from the ego because of those thoughts, uh she could then see herself because you know she suddenly went into her astral body because she detached from her physical body and um this happens a lot of times uh, to people who are who already have their third eye or their vishuddha chakra pretty open you know who are open to spirituality who are open to the universe being more than what you see what meets the eye kind of a thing and who always are open to think that there is something beyond this you know we don't know everything and who have that open mindset 
and also people who are kind of in their daydreams and imagination a lot who are operating in the higher chakras a lot more or quite to quite a big degree what happens is sometimes when the physical when the lower chakras become too painful you have access here you know so what happens is sometimes uh, your consciousness will snap out of the physical and it will attach itself to the spiritual you know it will attach itself to the higher chakra higher realm and then of course you come back because it's not your time to die yet so you are not you know if you stay in there too long then of course your physical body is going to die after a while um so yeah so i think that's what happened to her and it i found like that's an that's a very interesting experience that she had um so yeah that's what i wanted to share so thanks nena for sharing it with me um and then other things is uh, so i also experienced all my experiences uh, randomly but if you are interested in this you can actually practice and you can actually uh, you can you can induce such experiences and a lot of people have done that and i'll be uh, adding some links in the description box below the video so you can actually check out those links and some ways in which you can induce it are astral projection as i said uh also meditation is very very uh helpful sometimes meditation can also take you to altered states of consciousness and they are not altered actually we call them altered because we are most of the time living in this state of consciousness so they are not altered they are just alternate states of consciousness because consciousness is operating at a lot of different levels and um so yeah so you just enter another realm so to speak you know um and then the third one is lucid dreaming so lucid dreaming is when you are dreaming but you are aware that you are dreaming so you are not involved in your dream you become a spectator of your dream you know so that is lucid dreaming so this also happens to me a lot of times like a lot of times i'm dreaming and i know that i'm dreaming so in the dream i know that i'm watching a dream um so yeah so i will add the links below uh, i also wanted to mention the meditation that i'm going to be mentioning below is a, a very powerful one so maybe don't do it in the morning <laughs> kind of do it in the evening time when you don't have a lot on your plate to do after the meditation uh, so this meditation will directly connect you to the etheric realm if you do it a lot like if you do it properly and you know you are in a really relaxed state of mind and you don't have so many worries and tensions in your head you will actually connect to the etheric realm 